C, creating that separation with the defender. D, I'm driving the legs. Then we want to hit down, rip back to our feet. Outer channels. Score the try, army crawl. When there's not defenders on top of you. We want to rip back and then kick out. We're gonna army crawl. Boom, I hip down. Boom, boom, boom. And roll through, boom. Back to your feet, pick that ball up. What's up, Free Jacks Nation? My name is Tony Perpera, and welcome to week two of our Learn to Play series. Coach Tig and I hope you had fun last week learning about the awesome sport that is rugby. We are excited to build on the four core skills of the game this week and have even more fun. Can you remember what those skills are? The first skill is handling. That is important to be comfortable catching and holding a ball in two hands and even switching it to one while running. The second skill is catch pass. That is important to be able to link up with all of our teammates on the rugby team with silky passing and catching. The third skill is attacking footwork because we want to have fast feet and be able to beat the defenders. As a reminder, you don't need any equipment to participate. You can use toilet paper, a shoe, or any ball to practice your skills in the comfort of your own home. And always remember, let's ride! Oh, that was beautiful. That was top drawer. All right, Free Jacks rugby players, welcome to week two of our Learn to Play series, specifically our handling portion. This week, we are going to be looking at becoming more comfortable with that ball in just one hand. That ball, that object, just in one hand. So to start off as kind of a warm up, what we want to try to do is grab that ball or that object and really just kind of focus on keeping our elbows bent, that ball coming across, trying to hold it with one hand. After doing a few rounds of this for 30 seconds, once you become more comfortable, our next transition is gonna be actually holding your object in one hand. And what you wanna do is you wanna start off nice and close to yourself, so that kind of elbow bent. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna just bring it in nice and, nice and safe, really. Bring it into my body, nice and safe. As I gain confidence, start increasing that distance that you're holding it out in front of you. You wanna be nice and confident, right? Such an important part of our ABCs is that ball transfer. So being able to transfer that ball with one hand and having that confidence as you're bringing it Make sure you're working both hands as well. Very, very important. And as you become comfortable with that, then we want to try to bring it out in front and then start changing those angles and really kind of working on coming across our body. Coming across our body and then transferring that ball. Nice and tight, nice and tight. You really want to brace it because you don't want anyone to be able to take this ball away from you. All right, third progression. Once we bring this ball in, we're gonna fire this hand out. And what we're trying to do here, this is called the fend. And this is such an important part, or one of the tools that you can kind of have in your ABCs for creating that separation after the ball transfer. All right, so real easy, right? Start in, hold it out. As I pull this ball in, boom! Getting that hand out, getting that bend out, right? You wanna push off those defenders so they can't tackle you, all right? So make sure you're doing these for one-to-one -one work ratio either reps or you want to do time anything of that matter so as I'm holding this ball out boom get that fend out or even you know kind of working on across that body right so I've got two hands out right balls only in one hand but I have this other hand out boom boom keep it in and then transfer across Ball and Harajali on the burst, Danny Collins, and he is going in, gentlemen, just like that. Hey everyone, Todd Leader here again. Um, today, we're going to be looking to progress or catch pass. So last week, we looked at 
the fundamentals and the key things were in the catch we talked about having that w shape to give a target that was the key in the catch and then in the pass we talked about two hands on the ball evenly positioned loading the elbow and just executing a push pass today we're going to increase the difficulty before every time we receive the ball we're going to look to, to clap and then catch the idea of the clap is if we clap it means we have to react even later now so it's putting more stress on the catch and then when it comes to the passing element we're going to try and release the ball quicker so if i was to clap and catch from here midline my body i'm just going to try and shoot it from my midline versus always catching reloading and passing it's a little bit more efficient so let's give it a go and see how it looks okay so now that we've explained the drill let's um have a go and show you what it should look like so we pass hands to target just kept and pass so whichever wherever i'm catching the ball so from this point of view i'm just passing it and the idea of the catch is to increase difficulty but i'm still catching it nice and early if you feel pretty comfortable with that you can add maybe two claps so it'll look like this so it's increasing difficulty okay let's do two more just notice when the ball was passed to me if i was catching it here for example we don't necessarily want to do like a basketball overhand throw. We don't really do that in rugby. So if you catch it here, by all means, you can reload a little bit to maybe here to then execute the pass. So um, with your, if you have a teammate, you can do that, have a little competition. If you, if you get one clap pretty easy, you can add a second or maybe even a third, and then just try and increase the, the speed of the transfer back and forth. Okay, so have fun with that. Tackles. Nice pass. Oh, he's got it. There's a, there's a try right there. Look at that, Liam Steele. All right, Free Jacks rugby players, welcome to week two of our attacking evasion footwork. This week, we're going to take a look at our crossover step, our Y lines. Okay, really exciting stuff. So, just to quickly recap, last week we went through the ABCs A, angle change, B, that ball transfer, C, creating that separation with that defender. In week two, we're gonna look at something called the Y lines, okay? And so for this one, actually, I would recommend, don't even start with that object in your hand. Instead, just start with that little triangle that we built last week using different objects here. And so the idea behind the Y line is we're actually gonna be going in the different direction across our lead foot. Different direction, hold on. Across our lead foot here, all right? So if I'm walking through this, as I'm coming up and I wanna to go to your right here, I wanna be hit my left foot and then I want to cross over there so some of the big things that this does is it actually kind of keeps your defender off balance okay so as I'm coming across if I want to go to my right I want to actually come across my right foot here if I want to go to my left I want to come across my left foot there and as you saw right there I got a nice little high knee right really kind of bringing that power through so as I'm kind of, let's speed it up a little bit here, I want to come across and then accelerate into that next marker. Come across and then accelerate to that next marker. As you gain confidence, then let's grab that object, right? I got one of my rugby cleats here. I've got the ball here. This is going to be our handling from earlier on in the session. It's going to work really, really well with this. All right, so once again, start real slow. Walk up to that walk up to that marker come across and so as I come across right I want to use that handling that we worked on earlier and then I want to fend step across and then I want to fend you know it's like similar to football that kind of Heisman pose right as you're kind of bringing that hip across right so a couple of things once you kind of face different defenders and you're throwing that fend and you're stepping across you want to keep that hip and that bring really bring that knee really generate some force coming there so you can create that separation let's do a couple quick ones to each side with a little more pace here boom come across and then accelerate same thing on the other side step across and then accelerate and really kind of work on you know that ball handling handling one hand and then also that bend and that concludes week two of our attacking evasion footwork looking forward to seeing you doing it Hey everyone, it's Stephen Hinshaw, hooker with the New England Free Jacks, uh, originally from San Diego, California. 
uh, and I'm here in Hanover, New Hampshire once again uh, to help everyone get outside, have some fun, and hopefully develop some rugby skills along the way. I'm here with the challenge this week uh, that's going to test a little bit of passing, uh, a little bit of work off the ball, and hopefully let you have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get into it. So all you're going to need for these challenges is something to prop something else up on, which I have a chair for, a ball or some sort of target on that, and then hopefully a rugby ball, but if not, then uh, roll toilet paper or any other sort of ball will do. So first, uh, we're gonna start by throwing the ball up as high as we can, clapping as many times as we can, catching the ball with good form, creating a basket, and then firing a spin pass right off our hip, trying to hit the target about 10 feet away. We're gonna do one of those off each arm, and we're gonna see how many claps we can get when we're throwing the ball up in the air. Progress this challenge a little more, let's try jumping jack. One. And for a final challenge, uh, let's see if we can throw the ball up, hit our chest to the ground, get back up to our feet, catch the ball properly, uh, and get it away again. Oh. Oh. 